If you see an ASAPS member, you know that they've made aesthetic surgery important. It is what they do. And they're going to take a comprehensive approach. They're not somebody who has limited their training to one or two things. So I think that's a really good place to start for anybody considering aesthetic plastic surgery. I'm seeing more facelifts in my practice. I think it doesn't have the stigma that it used to. But there's also a lot of interest in these non-surgical things that do skin tightening, skin lifting, and I think they do have a place. I don't think adding volume by itself will postpone the need for a facelift necessarily, although it's often one of the first manifestations of aging is that loss of volume in the face. So I think you can maintain a youthful look maybe for a little bit longer. I think the big difference between 20 years ago and today with facelifts is the emphasis on three dimensions thinking about volume restoration, moving the tissues where they need to be to shape the face, and then sort of redraping the skin rather than pulling on the skin. That's what it's all about for us, is helping people feel better about their looks. And there's actually really powerful information about just how your appearance affects your self-confidence, it affects your performance in the workplace, uh, in life. Uh, there, there are really strong links there, and I think a lot of people don't like to acknowledge that necessarily, but how you look really does affect your life. And so feeling better about how you look helps with those changes in life, whatever it might be.